Hello car lovers, driving the 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4XE. What does 4XE mean? It simply means four-wheel drive plug-in hybrid. First, an overview. The 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee is a mid-size SUV. The 4XE means plug-in hybrid four-wheel drive. There are five versions. We get the mid-trim Overland with options. The engine is a two-liter turbo with an eight-speed automatic transmission. Overland adds some luxury touches such as Napa leather seats, 19 speaker, 950 watt audio system, huge panoramic roof and combined 9.7 liters per 100 kilometers. Very good. The plug-in hybrid part is a 17 kilowatt hour battery which delivers 42 kilometers of range and has an 8 year 160,000 kilometer warranty. By default, the battery will be used until it no longer has sufficient charge then 4XC will turn into a hybrid. Regenerative braking helps charge the battery. The main benefits of a plug-in hybrid are fast charge times and no range anxiety. Running out of battery defaults to the gas engine in hybrid mode. Peace of mind. Level 1 charge takes 12 hours, making it an overnight convenience. Level 2, 2 hours. Our tester with options cost over $90,000. And in 2023, the price felt about right, given the high level drivetrain and luxury. So what to say about this vehicle? Well, I, I think it, it, it starts, if you're gonna buy this vehicle, it's gotta start with a love affair of the exterior styling with the Jeep design language. I must say it, it is a looker and it, it, it certainly, it's off the beaten trail, right? It's it's off the, um, it's, it's apart from its more mainstream rivals in terms of exterior styling and it, it, it is good looking it, it, it just seems to have the right blend of sophistication and ruggedness and ross made the remark uh this vehicle is really an american uh range rover or land rover right it, it, it's 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 the american counterpart of that of trying to blend luxury and ruggedness so uh, the exterior styling well if you like it let's move on to the inside in the inside here you have all the luxury anemones i think you would expect from this price ninety three thousand dollars this vehicle i think that sounds about right in 2023 prices in 2018 i would have been outraged but in 2023 that sounds pretty good especially when you consider the sophisticated drivetrain um i think we're okay um we have here very comfortable leather seats very quality leather we have here an, an easy enough to use infotainment, though it is obsessed with finding Ross's phone. It's just looking for it all the time. Uh, it, this is a weird thing. Uh, we have here uh, the uh, passenger screen, which is kind of nice. Nice buttons here everywhere. Easy enough to consult climate control. Um, this is very good, a digital dash that is average looking. We have a heads up display that is above average. We have here a Macintosh sound system, which is wonderful, including the aesthetic quality of the presentation of the speakers, speaker covers. Very well done on that level. Sounds really good. Uh, we have here a camera for the rear view mirror. Very practical for, especially in the evening when you have those high beams on you. So this is nice. This is very nice. Lots of room in front, lots of room in back, decent room in the trunk very good where this and of course you get the benefits of these types of vehicle meaning an incredible feeling of solidity and it, it, the weight it feels weighty the vehicle which is what you want in this kind of vehicle uh the visibility is decent you have a commanding view of the road you sit high up this is what people want who drive these vehicles i get a lot of comments on the french versions of people who are saying well you know these vehicles what are they good for people are buying them why why do they even make these vehicles i think we can we can have a, a smidgen of empathy and see why certain people would want to buy these vehicles these vehicles have undeniable qualities and listen if you got the money and you want the comfort and this is certainly this is certainly viable a, a note about the drivetrain this is the four cylinder turbo it has 40 something kilometers of range in best case scenario ross managed to hit 50. Um, when you think about it uh, a vehicle like this which let's say an average drivetrain a v6 in city driving, you're going to be hitting over 20 liters per 100 kilometers. So you're saving 8 to 10 liters a day or 40 to 50 liters a week, which is about $80 of gas a week, which is about $320 a month. That's pretty good in ideal conditions, right? So you do, and you can charge it every night. You can plug it in on the 110 volt, charge it overnight. It's, it's interesting. It, it, it's certainly a, a perk. 
it, it appeals to your environmental side if, if, if you have that side. It appeals to your financial savings side if you have that side. So really, it's a two for one, right? It's, 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 it's a win-win-win. The electric motor, when there's power, provides a boost for the acceleration. So I'm, I can't complain. It, it covers all the luxury steps. There are a few flaws though. This piano black at the horizontal surface, it's already scratched here. I, I just don't see paying $93,000 and having to remind myself of the cheapness of this plastic every time I interface with the drivetrain or with the uh, window controls. It's, those are key areas on the horizontal surfaces. It's kind of inexcusable. On a cloudy day, on a sunny day, you will see it. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, what else to say about this vehicle? Well, uh, this, is, this is a solid value. And I certainly recommend it on the lease, not so much on the purchase because of the long-term reliability of these types of vehicles. I mean, if you don't have a proven track record, forget it. There's so much electronics here. This is the type of vehicle where if you are not in love with the exterior, you will not fall in love with it in the interior. However, if you are in love with the exterior, this interior will not dissuade you from buying it. It's, it's, it's well within the average in terms of what a luxury vehicle should deliver. And those are my thoughts on the Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland. By the way, if you like this review, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well then of course, of course, you should subscribe. And that is it.